Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're decorating with buttons and we're making dangles out of them for our junk journals. But first, our shout out to Anita, Debbie, Jane, Pam, Nancy, and Christy B65. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, let's get right to it. Buttons. Get your buttons. Go through all your buttons. And you'll want to select buttons that the hole is not that far from the outer side of the button. See, this one is pretty far away. The hole is pretty far away from the outer edge because what you're going to need to do is get your jump rings. And jump rings come in different sizes. And I'm just pulling out the different sizes I have here. It goes from small to large. And I would like to use this size right here, although we might need to jump and use that one. Huh? Jump rings. We're going to jump over there. Okay, so let's just do it. You're going to get your jump ring, and you're going to open it up. So you're going to need to get your tools, find the opening, and open it up. I am opening it this way because we're not making jewelry per se. You're going to put two ring yes two <laughs> I had to think for a minute two buttons on it and we're going to close it up okay now you're going to hold this button you're going to get another ring you're going to open it up and you're going to put this ring into this hole do you see that let me hold this so you can see Okay, this ring and to this. Now we're going to add another button and we're going to close that up. Just like that. Now we're going to get another ring. We're going to open it up and we're going to put button right on here. So there's two buttons on there. I'm going to close it back up. And then for our very last one, we're going to open it up again, our ring. We're going to put our button right on and one more button and close it back up. There you guys go. There's a dangle, just like that. Now, what are we going to do with this? We're going to put it on a tag. We're going to make an adorable tag. Let me set, actually, I'm going to need one more of these. I forgot. I need one more. What's that? A stick. We don't need a stick. <laughs> Just throw it away. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside. I am going to move my blue. I have a piece of coffee dyed file folder that is cut three and a half by six and a half and there's this one that's three not three and a half it's three by six and this and a half and this is three by five and we're going to go ahead and trim a little bit off on the corners just like this I think we'll use this big one I don't know if you can tell on the video or not but this paper does have a little shimmer to it because I added a little gold paint to it when I was coffee dyeing <laughs> for something fun. It turned out well. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to get my stamps. Now, I have a brand new stamp. I have never used this stamp. Never have used it. I really like it. It's really pretty. Oh, it's, it's glaring. Sorry. Then I have this stamp that I like a great deal. And I have this one that I like just as much. I think for today, I would like to use the brand new one. Why not? Okay, brand new stamp. I'm going to get my gathered twigs. And I am going to ink it up, put my ink all over my stamp. I 
hope everyone's doing well today. It's another hot one here. Very warm, but you know it is summertime and we would be upset if it wasn't warm. So I'll take it. And let's see, which way do I want this to go? I think I want it this way. And I'm going to put it just like this. Okay. Oh my goodness, how cute. And then I'm going to finish this off by turning it where it was extra. Finish off the bottom. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I do want it to be a little darker down here at the bottom though. So I am going to, I don't want to get this all over everything. I am going to ink it up just a little bit more and I'm going to re-stamp down there on the bottom because I really do want it to be it's going to be upside down but I don't think it's going to matter yeah I like that better and I want this to be right there there we go what do I cost that that little area right there. I don't know. Okay, doesn't matter. It's beautiful. Now what I'd like to do is I would like to turn it on its on the other side and get a stencil that I have and I would like to stencil it right down here at the bottom. Right down here. I need my And just push it in like that. I just want to have a little something on the back. I just always think that looks like it's a finishing touch there. That's beautiful. Now, let's ink around the edge. We're going to punch a hole. First, we can punch a hole before I ink around. I'm going to punch a hole in the center right here and I am going to get my hole enforcers and I'm going to put some ink on it and put it right there in the middle just like that it's looking good oh it's looking beautiful now I'm going to ink it all right, we've got it all inked around the edge. I'm going to take my Victorian velvet and I am going to just put a little bit of pink here and there. Not a lot, just a little bit to give it a little bit of contrast. I think that just helps a great deal. Oh, yummy. Yummy, yummy. All right, you guys. Now what I'd like to do is I would like to get my little butterfly stamps here. And let's see, is this big enough? I guess we're going to have to put them on here. This one is solid, just like this. Now you can use this one and then put one on top so you'd stamp that and then with one color and then you could stamp it another one with a different color. But what I'd like to do is just use just a solid color and not put another one on top and I would like to use the Victorian velvet and I'd like to really ink this up nicely I'm going to wipe off any extra I have gotten on the the little plexiglass holder here wipe that off and I would like to put this right here. I think going up just like that. Get that down. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? So pretty, so pretty. Okay, now I would like to get another size just like that. Put it on here. I'm going to fill it full of ink. And I would like to turn it this way now. 
give it a few minutes to soak in. Oh, so pretty. Now I would like to choose a smaller one. I'm going to wipe this off. Baby wipe. It's dry. It's not even wet anymore. And what on earth? Something's on there. And this is the small butterfly. I'm going to put some ink on it. Load it up with some ink. I'm going to turn it going out, kind of like the bottom one. And right there. And just give it a few minutes so that ink will transfer over and soak into the paper. Oh my goodness, you guys. How pretty is that? That's beautiful. Let me move this out of the way. And what I'd like to do next is I would like to get some lace. Now this lace is like this, and I did coffee dye it. It's just very, very pale. It's kind of a cream color, almost a creamy pink color. And I'm going to cut it down the center because see there's a the same on both sides and I'm just going to cut it down the center like this. I think that's enough. And then I have a little bit, oh, I don't want to put it there, a little bit of net and it is kind of a pink or flushy color. I'm going to fold it in half. So it's a strip and I'm folding it in half. So it's just like that. And I am going to put this into the hole, like so. And I'm going to just put a little knot in it. Hopefully I've left myself enough room to do this. I'm going to use my tool to help me get it through there. And I'm going to pull it. There we go. So far, so cute, right? Yes, very, very cute. Now, we have a little loop that's right here. Okay, so I am going to put the smaller, there's a, the buttons. This is the smallest button. I'd like it to be on the bottom. So I'm going to open up this ring and I am looking for another tool. Open this ring and I'm going to take this and where it's folded right here, I'm going to put this right in and since it's mesh, I can work it through Find it. There we go. So it's hanging off of this ring and I'm going to put this right on so it's hanging just like that with it. And I'm going to close this. I need to go get one more ring. So we've got all of that together now. And I need to grab another ring. I forgot I need one more. This makes it hang just a little straighter if you do it this way. And I want it to hang straight. So that's why we need another ring. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to open it up. And I am going to stick it right through here, just like that. And I'm going to take this and put it through here like this. And close it. Then I don't really like how the corners stick out like this, so I'm going to taper the corners. <laughs> taper the corners just like that. And I'm going to get my blue piece of paper back. So you can see this a little better, I think. And so we've got this gorgeous. Oh, I think I'd like to cut this as well. Yes, I'm going to cut it at an angle. This one's already cut at a point. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, this one has a little bit of lace sewn on it. 
like this. And I think I'd like to take this extra little piece of lace and go ahead and sew this on here just to finish it off. Oh my goodness, you guys, isn't this adorable? I absolutely love how these turned out. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you in my next video. See you soon, guys. Bye now.